Hey guys, as I'm sure you probably know, the Google editions of the Galaxy S4 and HTC One were released a few days ago. What was really interesting was the differences between the stock Android 4.2.2 on the Google editions and the stock Android on the uh, Nexus 4. They're both running Android 4.2.2, but there were a few slight differences, and I just wanted to show you some of those differences. I can show you on the Nexus 4 because most of them have been leaked, and as always, I put all the links in the description so you can go ahead and install those if you want. Now, the first difference was this phase beam wallpaper, which is kind of cool. It has this red sunburst tint rather than that kind of blue purple tint. It's a small change, but nonetheless, it's kind of a cool one. And it's a little difference that you can just go ahead and install with an APK. So uh, give that a shot if you want. The bigger difference was definitely the camera and the camera looks like it's been taken from Android 4.3 as we've seen leaks from 4.3 for the camera. And they've put it on the Google Edition phones, which I'm a little bit confused about. I don't see why they did that because they haven't given it to the Nexus yet. But nonetheless, you can go ahead and install it. To actually install it, you have to uh, reinstall or I should say install over your Gallery APK because the camera is included in the Gallery APK. So I just want to dive into the Gallery here. And even though the Gallery basically looks identical to what we had before, I do feel like it's had a speed improvement. You can see I can zoom through the photos here and none of them are loading up. They're just already there, which is uh, pretty awesome. It's very quick to just jump into a photo, zoom in and zoom out. It definitely feels like to me it's a little bit snappy and has a speed improvement. You can dive into the folders here and you can see all the pictures are just ready to go. So definitely an awesome job in terms of speed on the new Gallery APK from Google. Now the biggest difference is the camera and I'm just going to uh, dive into the camera here and show you that. So you can already see it's had a slight difference, a slight redesign. The buttons at the bottom look a little bit different. If you remember what we had on the stock Nexus 4 beforehand, when you put your finger on the screen you had that carousel that was nice to use but to be honest when you put your finger down your finger kind of covered up most of the options and you couldn't really see what you were doing. So Google's answer to this is this. Put your finger on the screen there and you can see you get this nice little option, this nice little bar of all the different options and it's got a nice smooth animation when you click through them as well. To go into a menu, you just, simple, you just simply hold where you want to go and it'll go into the menu and you can uh, pull back to go through previous menus. So if we try that, you can click this literally anywhere you want, anywhere around the screen that works. You can see it slightly redesigns itself, which is uh, pretty awesome as well. If you want to go to into your exposure, you can quickly set an exposure, let go, you can see it double taps and that's your exposure set. So that's as easy as it is to set things. I definitely prefer this over what we had before because it's just a little bit easier to see what you're doing. It was really kind of confusing to see what you were doing before, whereas this way you can easily see all your options. Now another change that I've noticed is in the animation. So I'm just going to take a picture here and note the animation when I take it. You can see it kind of zooms through and goes into the corner. You can click this to get straight to your picture. Obviously you can just swipe to the uh, left to get, or swipe to the right I should say, to get to your um, picture like you used to. And I'm not sure if this is a new feature, but I didn't notice it before, but you can actually now take pictures with your volume rocker on this new, uh, on this new camera APK. So if we just take a picture, it doesn't matter either the up or down volume, so I'll take one on both. If you press up, it takes a picture. If you press down, takes a picture. So a nice little addition there in the camera. I really think this is a much improved camera app. Even though it looks quite similar, there's just slight differences that make it more functional than what we had on the stock Nexus 4 beforehand. So like I said, you can go ahead and install these from the links in the description if you want to go ahead and give those a try. Definitely some nice little additions. Peace out.